Yo people, welcome back to the coaches corner. So today me and Nippon from Ennis Sports TV are discussing the relegation battle, the top four and the title race after what happened this weekend. So let's get started with the relegation battle. So um, Everton picking up a surprise win versus Manchester United. And so that gave them a four point lead um, going over Burnley with Burnley facing Norwich. And today they lost to Norwich, which means they Everton have a four point gap. But I still believe. Um, Burnley will go through because of Lampard because I believe Lampard can't handle the pressure and he should be a pundit because he's a great pundit he can talk very well he's not a manager and Sean Dyche he does it every year keeps them up keeps them alive and I think I don't know, everybody hates Bendy, but I, I really like them, I don't mind them, we win every every year again, it's them 3, 4, no, so yeah. So my final predictions for uh, the relegation battle is, is um, Norwich, Watford and Everton, the mighty Everton are gonna get relegated. One of the teams that have not been so, um, relegated yet for a long time. So yeah, that's my thoughts on that. Hello everyone, and welcome to Coach's Corner. And this will be a relegation review, a quick relegation review from me, um, Nippon Sharma. You can find my socials in the description below. And yeah, please remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, and turn on the bell notifications if you haven't already subscribed to Coach's Corner. And with that being said, um, let's get on with the video. Um, so the teams that currently occupy the bottom three are Burnley, Norwich City and Watford. Personally, in my opinion, those are the three that are going down. Everton, maybe, maybe instead of Burnley, given the fact that they did get did they did lose to the Lancashire side a few days ago but then pulled off a shock victory against Man United um also Watford beating sorry no losing 3-0 to Leeds United fellow relegation uh, rivals and then finally, today, Norwich City beating Burnley. So that drags Burnley closer to relegation. But in all honesty, I personally think Everton are getting relegated this season for the first time in their history. So yeah, that is a short review of the relegation threatened teams um my socials are in the description below please remember to subscribe to coach's corner yeah please remember to subscribe to coach's corner if you haven't already um big up 
and my own socials are in the description below as well um, i'm on the road to 1k i'm currently on 548 subscribers on my own channel ns sports tv so subscribe to that if you haven't already and yeah with that being said um yeah um see you in the next one peace and now we are discussing the top four battle oh how the situation has changed boys and girls so let me thank you so um a week a week and a half ago arsenal were in excellent form they were playing well tottenham came up at the second third game they have won in a row Tottenham closing the pressure and then Arsenal lose Tottenham fans oh yes whoever thought we could would make top four because most of them didn't think they would make top four most of them said no we can't even won two games in a row now they are four games in a row and, and Arsenal on a, on a two game losing streak and Manchester United they are just awful after losing to Everton a team that um, considered three goals against Burnley Burnley? Really? Burnley? Mm, so yeah uh, I think Tottenham are on fire. Can't say how Manchester United and Arsenal didn't snap up. Um, can't say and letting him go to Spurs really. Arsenal had two chances in the summer, and when Tottenham were looking at him and United. United even had chances to sign him, but they didn't. So my final prediction is Tottenham to get top four. Today, I will be bringing you the top four race in the Premier League review. So, the teams currently occupying top four are... In first, Manchester City. In second, Liverpool. In third, Chelsea. And in fourth, Tottenham Hotspur. So, the, the teams challenging for top four are North London clubs, Arsenal and Tottenham. In my opinion, um, United are out of the race after their shock defeat to Everton. Um... So yeah, I honestly feel it's between it's Tottenham's to lose, um, and I think they will get the fourth place. Um, I think Arsenal will finish fifth, West Ham sixth, and United seventh. So yeah, um, a quick review of uh, today's games, uh, this weekend's top four games. Um, so you have Arsenal, who had a shock defeat to Brighton and Hove Albion, who hadn't scored in almost seven games. Um, the South Coast team travelled to North London and walked away with all three points. Arsenal... Looked like the top four favourites. I honestly thought they were doing something under Mikel Arteta. As a Chelsea fan, it pained me to say it. it... But yeah, thankfully they did bottle it. Um, and now I don't see them getting top four. Um, as for Man United, um, just when I thought they couldn't get any lower, 
They lost to a relegation threatened Everton, the worst Everton team I have seen in so many years. And then Tottenham beating Aston Villa 4 0 with no response. Goals from, I think it was, yeah, Dejan Kulazewski and a hat trick from Son Hyun Min. Sealed all four points for the North London team. Um, West Ham, they lost to Brentford, which dents their hopes of any hope of getting a top four finish, in my opinion. So, yeah, in my opinion, um, the top four race is between Arsenal and Tottenham. And in my opinion, it will be decided on the day they play each other in the North London derby. That is my quick review for the top four race. Um, this has been Nippon Sharma of NS, uh, reviewing on behalf of Coach's Corner. My channel is in the description below. Please remember to subscribe to Coach's Corner and turn on the notification bell if you aren't already. And with that being said, I shall see you all next time. Peace. And now it is the big game everyone has been waiting for oh, this weekend. It was City versus Liverpool and it ended in a 2-2 two -two draw once more. And this was basically a loss for both teams. It's still a one point gap and every, anyone can win. But let's first analyze the game. So in the first 10 minutes, Liverpool were doing well, they were good on attack, but City just put on the pressure, the crowd uh, sang and everything, and Liverpool started to play slower, it dropped deeper, slower and deeper, but then out of nowhere they get the goal, the decisive a goal to level it up and for the next f 5 to 10 minutes the energy is up they're more relentless they are attacking they want to score another one after that City, City the crowd is up again City put under pressure and then Trent makes a huge mistake that guys it's a free kick he's marking Sterling ball comes in he looks at Sterling but doesn't follow Sterling to the goal Sterling has a open one-on-one -on -one with Allison and he makes it 2-1 heading into the break and then in the second half Liverpool were way better but and only for the it's a 10-15 minutes and where they scored in the second minute of the second half go to equalize it at that moment you think surely these two teams have the quality to score another goal but yet again they don't score and I want just to say something controversial maybe we had Marish he missed the goal in the 94th minute or 93rd minute. Let's be honest. He has been only good for one, one and a half, two seasons. And then to win the title basically, because there would have been four points ahead, he smashes it over the bar. I want to know, City fans, how are you feeling? Because you, surely you can't let them get away with it. You must have sat there. Just needed to go around the keeper or think it, not think it in the stands. No, think it just over. So I don't know, but what you, your City fans are feeling. 
I wouldn't be active with you. No way. So yeah, that's my thoughts. I'm gonna link all um, um nipple nipple's chat and all and socials in the description. And I want you guys to please subscribe to him and put the bell icon and then subscribe to my channel and like this like it because um I'm really trying to grow the channel you know, because um I re we want to um, create a platform for fans out in the world so yeah thank you and yeah. we'll be bringing you the review a quick review of a title deciding game between Manchester City and Liverpool and my god what a game of football I've said it all season the title race is going to go down to the final day of the season Manchester City 2 Liverpool 2 Manchester City are unbeaten against Liverpool at the Etihad for I think 8 seasons in a row now Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so, goals from Kevin De Bruyne and Gabriel Jesus for Manchester City. And Sadio Mane and Diogo Jota for Liverpool. They, they go home with a point each. Both teams will probably come out disappointed that they didn't get the win. They could have really, either team could have clinched the title there and then. And yeah, um, I feel there were a lot of controversial decisions from the ref that could have changed the game. But Anthony Taylor, we all know what we think of Anthony Taylor. Um, but yeah, um, I actually feel the a draw is a fair result. Um, and I think the the title race will go down to the final day of the season. And these are by far the best two teams in the country, in the Premier League. And uh, Jurgen Klopp and Pep Guardiola are by far the best two managers in the Premier League. Um, and yeah, that is my quick review on... Manchester City 2, Liverpool 2. And who I think will win the Premier League come end of season? I think it'll be Liverpool, honestly. Because I feel City will have their focus on the Champions League. So yeah, with that being said, please remember to subscribe to Coach's Corner. My socials are in the description below. Um, please remember to like, share, comment, subscribe. And turn on the bell notifications if you haven't already. That being said, see you in the next one. Peace.